Okay, so welcome back to Btide. In this video, we are going to replicate the single player project made by Cyber LOD. The project which was made by him is the is the download link for that is in the description so you can directly download it and continue for this video uh, that was shared by him on his discord that the link of that too is in the description one more thing before starting the thing which you have seen on the reddit that is the inventory portion that will be done later that is in the second part of the video where we will merge it with the battle royale inventory which we have made till now the description for the battle royale inventory series is also in the description so let's go okay so if i now play so there are a lot of things which need to be replicated firstly we need to replicate aim offset that was uh, replicated by cyber lod2 but we need to do that in this project and then we also need to replicate the sprint the firing mechanism the, all the montage does not replicate. So let's start by replicating the sprint first. Uh, open the default spawn class, and here you will find everything, all the logic. So this project is available in the description. Uh, it was shared by Cyber Lodi on his uh, Discord. So yeah, once again, shout out to him. So just let's create a new custom event and name it Sprint on server. Hmm. And I'll just copy this, paste it here. So we will all locally also change the value of this and also change it on the server. So that's why we are doing this. Now sprinting need. Uh, sprinting animations are in the NMVP, so we need to send a replicated value. So make this sprinting a replicated variable and now save. So we have made this. Okay, so just drag this branch here and comment this print on server. Now here. Take this here and call this is print on server. Print on server. Take this and this way. Compile and save. Let's play and check that we can sprint on server. Yeah, we can sprint and it works perfectly fine. Great. So the sprinting logic is now replicated. Now comes the second and the most important part, I believe, for which everyone would be here, which is the firing mechanism. So, hmm. firstly, you need to get the uh, variable like okay, open on fire node, and now here's the hit scan trace. Now this hit scan trace needs to be replicated and this should take place on the server that then only we can replicate it right so get back to in oh sorry on fire just copy this and go back to event graph right click create a custom event fire on server this will be called from the server so run on server and paste it this way mm. get to event graph I just want to check one thing okay so this is spread variable tells us whether this is a uh, single or uh, automatic firing if it is automatic the gun will move up and if it is single then it won't so just make it a variable like this and go up here remove this on fire with fire on server 
and make this copy this once more get it here and make it spread remove this so now we have just replicated the hit scan so if i go back and go to this and make it persistent you will notice all the players can see this yeah if i fire now all the players can see this now you can't hear any sound that, because we have not replicated the sound and the other systems but now everyone can watch this right so the hit scan is now replicated the second thing which we need to replicate is the ce on fire this is an inherent property so just copy this and this can be directly called from the server so we don't need to do anything to this oh sorry the next thing which we need to do is play montage so this play montage needs to be run on the server and the multicast so go back to event graph let's create a universal montage so just create play montage multi cast and paste it here so we can directly call it right so just copy this and go back to event graph delete this paste it this way and make it multicast and call this event here play montage multicast let's check now you can hear it the animations are getting uh, yeah, it's working fine and one more thing which we need to replicate is sorry on fire camera shake camera shake is working perfectly fine we don't need to do anything i believe let's check once no. this is if you notice it here is also vibrating yeah we need to fix that so this should take this only on the owning client that is the person who is shooting so just copy this delete it and go back to event graph and when fire on server this should take place yeah now right create a new event click down event fire on owning client so this can only be called from the server and it should run on the owning client this way and create it run on owning fire on owning client we have done everything i believe we still need to do the stopping mechanism but else uh, except that everything has been done i believe yeah, let's check now if i There is not moving. Firing profit. Okay. Nice, that works. Now we need to get what actor we are hitting so that we can this uh, we can like um, just a minute print and check whether the player is being hit or not. If it is not, then we need to do something extra. Yeah, the player is not getting hit. So for that, you can just open mesh. Come down here. Go lead in presence. Um, character mesh, make it custom. And the visibility channel, make it 
block save and now let's go this should work yeah it hit the character now let's do one last thing uh, replicate the aim offset i will be back in a second so welcome back and now i have got how cyber lod did it so we will be doing the same way because i couldn't find any way bit better than cyber lod so they create a new function name it get control rotation or maybe control rotation replicate it anything which is okay according to you yeah this is okay for me now make a branch and we need to check if it is local or not so check has authority and create a or node and one more thing is has authority yeah oh sorry is locally controlled and has authority and for true we will set the value of the control rotation so get controller and then set yeah get control sorry get control rotation yeah set it to a variable right click promote to a variable name it control rotation replicated or rep according to your wish it's completely dependent on you make it replicated escape owner compile and save go to your nmbp Oh, sorry, it was here. Mesh. Yeah. Hmm. Get to aim offset or aim offset setup. Uh, yeah, in the functions, aim offset setup. Here it is. Yeah, this. Now remove the get control rotation and get control. Oh, where is it? I believe I made a mistake. I have saved it. Yes. Yeah, this should be called then. Get control. Oh, I got it. I was writing an extra L. So yeah, get control rotation replicated. Set this. Now it should be a replicated thing. Let's play and check. Oh, it's not working. Uh, did I miss something? Oh, yes, I did miss an event take node. Uh, get back to your character, go to event graph, create a event take node, and call this replicate control rotation here. Yeah. Compile and save. Now it should work perfectly. Yeah, this works perfectly. So yeah, you can watch everything has been done. So thank you for watching again. Just I want to remind you the inventory system will be done. And one more thing let's do it is replicate this crowd. You just need to set it on run on server and everything else will be done. So yeah, Crouch is also replicated. So thanks for watching. Meet you in the next video. The inventory system merge is coming tomorrow. And you can subscribe and till then follow the merge, follow the inventory system video so that you have the inventory system with the default weapons ready so that you can just follow the tutorial directly. So thank you.